Saturday night in November, NBA action returns to Miami. After a hot start, the Heat have dropped two in a row. They look to bounce back against a team that lost in overtime last night and also lost their point guard. First of two matchups this year between the Heat and the Timberwolves. And welcome inside the American Airlines Arena, where we always hope you enjoy every bounce and basket right along with us. As the Heat take the home floor, we remind you that Miami Heat basketball on Sun Sports is proudly presented by AT&T Uberts. And good evening to the Heat Nation. We hope you're enjoying your weekend, and we thank you as always. Have first Wade going baseline, and you know when he goes baseline, that's a problem. Heat, spinning, well, not spinning and spinning, but at least he hit four of six in the first half, and then Wade to Lou out. Dang! Getting it done. Crotty, talk to me about Hassan, because when he came out, it was a party and it wasn't going to stop. Oh, he was aggressive. Look at the reverse layup here. He got off to an excellent start, was three for three uh, in that first quarter, uh, and getting on the glass as well. Good job by him. He was three for three in three minutes. That's what I loved about that situation. That was some good stuff. There it is. And a little action right there, slashing, getting it from Cole. More Luau. Dang! in transition that's just tremendous he was two for two in the first half from the edges and then chris bosh come on try to get your left hand oh, the base is up jang right there give him too much space that's just butter it was just three of ten in the first half he got better though from there i like that right there a little trailing catch goes right to the rim with the left hand got to utilize the matchup if it's pekovic and he's, he's got the quickness advantage to take him off the dribble it's jang back him off look for the jump shot 29 to 13 after one that's back to life back to reality for mcroberts right there then chalmers one of two heat blocks right there that was one of them right there nate pierre give me some reversing Good point guard play off that high pick and roll, little hesitation. Use the rim to prevent the ball from being blocked. Cleveland Clinic, team play of the game right here. Cold, nice action. Dang behind the back right there. Yeah, I want to see this one more time. Did I call that right? Yeah, that was pretty good. 47 to 27 at that point. Young Mr. Andrew Wiggins, get him a highlight. Yeah, see, this is what, that's, there's a future. There's a future right there. Some and one basketball, and then dang. Nice slash reverse. That is young. Getting some things done in the Lando Lakes. One hand and one. And Levine, a backup at UCLA. Now get his first start in the pros. Delicious. Did you Still. taste that a little bit? A little bit, yeah. Nice pull up by him. Good decision with the defender on his heels. It's uh, Levine, but you should spell it differently. Okay. <laughs> Third quarter. Wait, be in the league like four minutes before you expect me to pronounce your name right. <laughs> Bosh up and under 24 points. And then look at this. Look, oh, man. Wasn't he in Superman 2? That's right. General Zod. Let's talk about that. Was Zod Zod body man. That was a body man right there. I'm so long. Was that Wiggins? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. And then Wade. Nice little two step. He had 11 of 16 shots. More action with Wade, but this time giving it up. Dang, does it. Look at this again. Look at the way he gets behind the defense on the baseline. Dang moves so well without the ball, gets his hands ready. I told you there were 26 assists in this thing. UD. One more time, Crowded. <laughs> And then at the buzzer, Muhammad from the corner, making this thing interesting. He just couldn't pull away from him. They hung around. Muhammad really did a good job giving them a lift coming off that bench. Fourth quarter, first the rip, then the flip, and then the dip. The rookies were doing some things right there. You want this replay? I'll take it. Go ahead. Splow, splow. That's all I got for you. Uh, Muhammad, he's a Bruin as well. You like him? I do. I like, I, again, he really caught me off guard with his versatility going left and right, left hand player, but his ability to score going to the rim. And look at this little, you know, post up shooting over a very good defender in day. And then the pride of Zanesville, Ohio, got the game after sitting down a long time. Wow, but I'll it didn't bother him. Yeah, leading scorer for them really wasn't much of a factor. All of a sudden, he leads this 12-0 run right now with a couple of big shots. From Kevin Martin to D. Wade, and he's teaching a lesson to the rookie right here. Then Bosch. D. Wade told you they get all that money for this right here. D. Wade, I need you to call the gentleman with the cap on. That would be the bus driver. 
time to pick up the T-Wolves. It's all over. It's all over. 102, 92. That is the final. D-Wade took a second to get to the youngins here, gave him a little, it's gonna be all right. When the young, get that old man game, slap it all over you. The insurance game summary right there. D-Wade's your leading score, the assists mounting up. You see Bosch had a couple. Dang had uh, three. Norris Cole, nice little bounce back. Good bounce back, right. yeah. He's going to be aggressive. He's going to look for a shot, but the defense is going to come, and then I'm just going to you know, shoot it with confidence. And uh, it kept rolling. You weren't messing around in those first three minutes. No, I wasn't. I yeah. Was, yeah, that was, yeah, <laughs> that was the adrenaline flowing. How's this last week been? You been in uh, coach's ear? Just like, uh, I'm ready. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready. So there's been a lot of work going on behind the scenes, um, a lot of running. Uh, you know, just trying to make sure I'm healthy and don't want to put myself out there, take one step forward and two steps back. So Finding his niche, not only scoring the basketball, but, but also setting up his teammates. Look at him working inside, using his strength, looking for the matchups where he can exploit his ability around the basket, leaning on the, on the much thinner Kevin Martin, took advantage of him early. Nice hesitation dribble with the right hand, mixing up his game of going to the basket. Look at the split. That was explosive off that high pick and roll action there. That's beautiful. And then the distribution. This is the thing I think he's really stepped up. This year he recognizes he's going to have to be more of a playmaker, and, and he did that. He led the team, uh, wound up having eight assists, doing a great job of, of really getting everyone involved. But when, when it matters and... He's in that post. He can really look over his shoulder, kick it to the weak side, find full on the two-man game. Just did a lot of positive things. Look at the percentage he's shooting, too, going 11 for 16 from the field. Dwight, you guys had this at 16 at one point this quarter. Got down to four. What did you have to overcome to pull out this victory? Time. <laughs> we, uh, you know, we just needed more time. I mean, this is a team that we're learning how to win together. So, you know, right now, no lead is safe until we learn how to really win ball games. But... You know, we took a good step tonight. We're getting stops when we need it and execute on offense event. You guys have a uh, hustle stat anomaly tonight as you were out uh, second chance points by about 20, 21. How'd you guys overcome that? Um, I don't know. You know, we have a knack for finding a way to win, and um, we've always had that here. You know, we got to do a better job. Um, you know, we can't get out rebounding like that and expect to win, especially on the road. So uh, we got to figure it out. What'd you say to young Mr. Wiggins there? Because... Uh, before you all had a nice little chat, you had to let them know how it still goes. Um, I just told him that, you know, don't ever get discouraged. Um, he has a lot of tools. If he want to be great, he can be great. Um, and just keep, you know, keep working on his game. Very interesting symmetry. Our uh, BMW moment tonight was when you went against the Timberwolves in your first game and KG said something to you. Yeah. And it's amazing yeah. how this all comes around. It is, man. You realize that uh, you're pioneers of this game and uh, we are the ones uh, who have to make sure we give back to, to the guys coming up to take care of this game. So I understood I understood what he was saying to me then, and I really get it now. We got another one, so let's roll. And on behalf of the Miami Heat organization, uh, we want to say to uh, to Leah Steele um, and her family, uh, we're praying for you guys. Best wishes. And Leah, you strong. We know you will come through, baby. D-Wade, well done. Getting it done as the entire nation is Leah Strong. The Heat Nation... Extremely strong as their team moves to four and two after the six initial games of this regular season. 102, 92, the final. Eric and Tony back to wrap things up. We're going to keep it co captains, by the way, when we get to Heat Live post game. Udonis joins us in the studio. Stay right there. 102 to 92, Heat win. If you'd like to catch tonight's game again, tune in tonight at midnight as we replay all of tonight's action presented by your South Florida Honda viewers. This has been a presentation of Sun Sports, your exclusive home for Miami Heat basketball. For Eric Reed and the coach Tony Fiorentino, as well as Christian Hewitt, Ron Rothstein, and John Crotty. I am Jason Jackson. Thank you so much for watching. Good night, South Florida. We leave you now with the deliciousness of the final take.